Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to Judgment. Now, if you missed the last part, guys, I you just have to go and check it out. Because it literally was the craziest shit ever. Like, I'm gonna go into spoilers right now, so if you haven't seen it, back out of this video right away. But holy shit, guys. Matsugane-san sacrificed himself to save Hamura. Hamura and Matsugane had a super emotional scene. Yagami and Hamura... Hamura I was about to call him Hamura. Hamura were like, um standing over or kneeling over Matsugane while he was dying and then the mole comes tries to kill Hamura and he ends up killing a load of the Matsugane family doesn't get to kill Hamura doesn't get to kill us and, and goes off and then and then we find out the real bombshell that Kuroiwa is the mole so now it's time to get shit done about this we know Kuroiwa is the mole we know Shono is the mastermind behind it, all everything going down. So what we need to do now is we need to defend Ayabe in the trial, try and get him off because he's the fall guy for Shintani's murder. We know he didn't do it. It was Kuroiwa. Um, it's kind of crazy how Kuroiwa has just brutally murdered all these people. Like, just without remorse, he just killed like... 10 Matsugane guys at the end of the last part that shit was insane and then he strolls up to us like nothing happened and there's nothing we Hi, can do mister. about it are you Yagami? I am Yagami yeah who's asking I have a present for you oh what no is it? it's a bomb I don't know some guy told me to give it to you he said he was a friend oh and he said to open it right away yeah I don't trust this this is like a bomb or something right what? Yep. Wonderful, Yagami-san. Such stunning reflexes. You even avoided doing any property damage. Well, did you enjoy my present? It was given to me as a gift by an old business partner of mine. Who the hell are you? Oh, pardon my rudeness. This is my car. There's not even a card there. Koga? Oh, you don't know me? Hmm. I see. I see. In that case, perhaps I should start over. My name is Matsuhisa Koga, one of the Keihin Four. I came to see what all the fuss is about. And introduce you to my way of doing things. So you're a little bitch and you can't you know, find me 1v1. Our has taken quite a hit thanks to your antics. That being the case, it falls to me to put a stop to this farce. You guys are the farce. <laughs> Enough talk. Show me what you can do, Yagami-san. I've had a really long day, dude. Like, a really long day. My mentor and father figure died. I found out who the mole is, and it's some goddamn police chief that I can't do anything about. You know, like, I don't have time for this kind of shit, bro. I really don't. Like... I don't have this kind of time. You understand me, bitch? You understand what I'm saying? I don't have the time for this! Why well, won't it do the goddamn triangle attack? Damn it. Wait a two You know, if I knew I was going into a fight right now, I probably would have goddamn gone and got some healing items or something. Alright, that's a little bit better. Is it a 1v1 already? No, this guy's still alive. Now it's 1v1. Alright, we have full health now, we can 1v1 him easily. Alright, Koga. Enjoy the knee to the face, sir. You like that? Fight at full strength. Oh shit. To die. Just took out two guns. That was some dodge. No bullshit. What? That was kind of crazy. Let's go then. Ah. 
No! Got him. Okay, jeez, we got mortally wounded, but we did get him. God, dude. This guy's insane. He just pulls out two guns? Out of nowhere? Like Randall Keith Orton with an RKO? You're as strong as they said you'd be. It seems fortune is not on my side today. I surrender. You win. Huh? Already? In the business world, one must always know when to withdraw. If Matsuhisa Koga lost to some thug on the street, our reputation would be in tatters. My business partners would never take me seriously again. I don't know why they would to begin with. Now I must retire. Until the day I get revenge. Farewell, Yagami-san. This guy's weird as fuck, dude. <laughs> Can't these guys just leave me alone? I know, right? Jesus. Just trying to rest up, bro. Come on. Alright, we got more wounds again, unfortunately, but... We're back home. Sugiura's here. Sugiura. What are you doing here, dickhead? What happened with Kaito-san? Is he okay? Doctor said he'll be back on his feet in a few days. We took him to some back alley joint. Hush hush, you know? Didn't realize you had those kinds of connections. Actually, he was a friend of Kaito-san's. Sounded like they go way back. Couldn't you have just gone to a hospital? That's what I thought. Kaito-san was pretty insistent, though. Said he didn't have time to deal with a bullet in the gut. That's Kaito. <laughs> How'd everything go with you? I heard the Cure Club burned down. Yeah, things were tough. Sounds like you could use some rest then. Heading out then? I just figured I'd stop by to tell you about Kaito-san. Now that I know you're safe too, I'm gonna go pass out at home. You do that. Good night. We're gonna have to tell Kaito about Matsugane-san as well. That's gonna be depressing. It's gonna be real depressing. How are the jobs looking? My subordinate is missing. There's a groper on the loose. Another pervert in the Twisted Trio is taking a liking to Tsukino. This one's a groper and he already got a big handful of her ass. Jesus Christ. <laughs> she can't even go outside without an escort. Please catch him, Yagami-san. I'll drop by your office. Sure, I'll accept that. There's a groper on the loose. That's uh, the one Tyler was telling me to do. <laughs> Ash Ketchum! <laughs> it's like Ash Ketchum. It's like Pokemon Ash Ketchum, except it's Ash Ketchum. <laughs> That's funny, dude. Supple ass of yours would be perfect in a long distance race, baby. <laughs> ah. That is disturbing. Is that really relevant? He's the first guy to grab her ass, bro. Oh, uh, Jesus. Okay, he's been putting in some overtime. That's good, good, good. Why would it be okay for him to get his ass grabbed and her not to get... Nah, you know. 
That's sexist, in my opinion. Eh? You figure it out right away. No, no, no. no. I'm on it. All right, we can do it. Ask, catch him as grass and wear the lawnmower. <laughs> oh god, this is so dumb. It's our best shot. All right, we can do it. We can do it, man. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Gotta love it. Hilarious stuff, honestly. Bloody hilarious, mate. All right, are we gonna do that right away? Not seeing any sketchy perverts at the moment. All right, we gotta keep an eye out. This guy is not a sketchy pervert, is he? Kinda looks like one to be honest, but where's the cat? Yo, where's that putty cat? I hear him. I can't move in this one. Hmm. Yo, I hear a cat. Where is he? Oh, the cat's on the roof. There Suspicious. it is. Suspicious. <laughs> Couldn't see shit. He blends in well with that car. What the? Oh, is that him? Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely him. <laughs> He's right behind you, buddy. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is disturbing. <sighs> Not even Ass Ketchum can tell those two apart. Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn, that's funny. Oh, this is gonna be a chase, man. Yo, Yo Soki got his ass. Oh, poor, poor guy. Poor little guy, honestly. <laughs> That's messed up, bro. Alright, we got this, though. We're gonna catch him. We're a street racer, baby. There's no need to do that big twirl every time you go left or right of someone, dude. Like, look at that. That that wastes so much time. It's crazy. This guy is fast, though. No, I press the wrong button. Shit. I pressed it! I pressed triangle there! That was wrong. Like I pressed it. I, like I pressed it way before tattoo. That was crazy. That's crazy, bro. I can't believe that. I actually pressed triangle and it didn't work. Oh, we got him. Nice. Get caught, ass catch him. You little pervert. Now we gotta fight him, probably, huh? My 
whole body feels rock hard. That's disturbing, honestly. <laughs> and he still thinks that was his, that was a little girl. That was a male. I hope you I hope you know that you grabbed the male's ass. Not there's anything wrong with that, but you don't give up, do you? This guy is weird, man. Oh no, I want to be a tiger style. What do you mean, brother? God damn, you're getting absolutely destroyed, kid. Oh, there's the cat guys right there. Nice. Are you gonna get up anytime soon, or? Oh my god! Ass Catchem got destroyed, kid. God damn. That was bad for him. For goodness sake. Hard off a guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so stupid, dude. Man butts do nothing for me. Uh, the fact that he's talking about getting hard off that is quite disturbing, honestly. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> Thank you. All right. It's good to meet you guys again. Sukino and Yosuki. Had a blast. No way she draws in the ire of the next one, am I right? That's absolutely gonna happen, 100%. Alright, crash on the sofa. <laughs> That's what we were intending to do at the start, but... I also want to eat this food. Um, Maybe that'll give us health as well. It's curry. To Yagami-kun, I just made you some curry, but I thought regular curry would be too boring, so I added some bitter melon, one of my favorite fruits. Let's try it out. See if it's good. It better give me health, though. I swear. I'll be pissed if it doesn't. I'll be triggered if it doesn't give us health. Oh, it does. Well, we were honest, right? I think it's better if we'd be honest. Will I always have to eat garbage? <laughs> Alright, let's crash on the sofa for real now. Rest up, baby. Probably need to go to the children's park to heal ourselves as well, because we are... I do have a mortal wound. It's not that big a one, but I don't like having it. It just kind of triggers me a little bit. I had just... I don't like it. I don't like the look of it. It's Mafia. Did I wake you up? You need something? The moles claimed another victim. Another Kyore clan Yakuza. What? Head to the Matsugane family office if you can. All right. I'll be right over. But Matsugane is dead, though. We still need to tell Kaito about that. Like, are we gonna get a scene where Kaito finds out that Matsugane-san is dead? Because I would really like that. That would kind of be super emotional because Kaito really cares about him. He doesn't, I, like, uh, as far as I know, he doesn't know Matsugane-san is dead, right? Or does he know already and we just don't know he knows? 
think it would be cool if we found out the or if we were the one to tell him that would be a super emotional scene I don't know if he just found out off screen that he's dead that would kind of kind of suck to me but what can you do we'll see I don't know I thought those guys wanted to fight me but something's happened they've already ID'd the victim Mafuyu. Satoshi Shioya. God, I Captain knew it. I was going to say, is it Shioya? You knew him, yes? Mm-hmm. If it was really the mole, that means his eyes have been gouged out? So I hear. I haven't confirmed it for myself. Better that you don't. <gasps> Who's handling the case? Kuroiwa again? Yes. He's right over there. Speaking of which, Yagami-kun, what happened last night with the interrogation? Listen, Mafuyu. Hmm? It's Kuroiwa. He's the mole. <gasps> what? Apparently, he and Hamura have been working together for years. At first, he was just a dirty cop. Not too different from Ayabe, I guess. But eventually, he found murder was profitable. And that's not all. Shono from the ADDC is the one who's been hiring him to do his dirty laundry. And these corpses with their eyes gouged out? Human experiments, every one of them. All for 89. <sighs> Should we be telling her, though? I just confronted Shono the other day. Said I was on to his insane tests. And now, there's a new body like nothing's changed at all. I can only see one way this shakes out. There's gonna be more deaths before this is all over. Even when he's this close to being all but caught, he's not gonna stop for anything. There's no doubt now. So now? Shono, he... He seems like this quiet, harmless scientist when you see him on the job. Except... 89 changes who he is. Makes the guy a monster. <sighs> Completing his drug will save millions. Not to mention their families. It would change the whole world. With all that power protecting Dr. Shono, he'd risk everything he has. It's us against anyone that money can buy. What the fuck is going on here, man? What are you going to do? Why not walk away? I think we have to Wish kill Chono or Kuroa. Matsugani's son's death can't go unanswered. He deserves closure. They won't get away with this. They won't get away with this. That's chapter 11 done and dusted, people. Oh god! Oh god, oh god. Shio is dead as well. 21 and a half hours played. Chapter 12, Behind Closed Doors. Let's get into it. Let's start off chapter 12. We'll do the first whatever half or so of it. The Matsugani family and the, the second last chapter, by the way. Assault, and the Kamurocho ambitions of the Kyore clan crumble. Betrayed by his inner circle, Hamura becomes a target himself. So he reveals to Yagami the mole's true identity. He is Kamarocho's organized crime division detective, Kuroiwa. The man who took Matsugani's life falls under the shield of 89's powerful benefactors. God damn, dude. I still can't believe how crazy part 22 was. 
They sorry, held part its 23. funeral at Tojo Clan headquarters. It was an intimate service. The Matsugani family would have passed to Hamura, but with him missing, it was all but dissolved. It wasn't like he'd made much of an impact on the Tojo brass to begin with. But to Genda Sensei, he was an old friend of over 40 years. And then there was Kaito san, who joined up after finishing middle school. And Higashi, too. When Kaito got expelled, protecting the boss became his personal mission. All of us knew exactly who was responsible for taking him from us. It was just a matter of finding the proof. God damn, dude, that gave me goosebumps. I don't know, fucking hell, this is so crazy. It's a pity that we didn't get to see the Kaito finding out about Masagane san. I really would have loved to see that scene. That would have been really nice. Shintani's dead, killed by Ayabe, so they claim. This is the pre-trial conference for that case. Basically, we sit in here and hammer out the flow of the trial. Try to keep things as simple as possible for the jury, you know. According to the law, both the prosecution and the defense have to submit all their evidence before even going to court. You can't burst in mid-trial with new info like they do in the movies. We've been going in circles for a while now. We'll never get anywhere like this. You say that, yes. In other words, we need to make sure all our cards are in order, then show the other side our hand. The rifling marks on the bullet are unshakable proof of guilt. You really want to plead innocent with such a severe disadvantage? How does the defense respond? You can also bargain for a lesser sentence if you so desire. No, we still contend that Detective Ayabe was set up. Our stance remains unchanged. We can't exactly just tell Seriously? them that Kuroiwa did it, though. So it was Kuroiwa all along. Everything makes sense now. Were there ever any warning signs? Nah. <sighs> this might have nothing to do with it, but... I heard a story about the guy once. Go on. Back when he was starting out, his boss on the force was working as a Tojo clan go-between on the side. In exchange for kickbacks and whores, of course kind of shit you see every day in Kamarocha. But one day, that boss went and threw himself off a roof. Right when they were gonna haul him in, too. Guess some goody two-shoes on the force went and ratted him out. One of his own co-workers? Was it Kuroiwa? No. Nope. Funny enough, they found the snitch with a noose around his neck just a day later. So it was a double suicide? What the hell? From what I've heard, it's possible that hanging was actually a homicide. Maybe, just maybe, someone wanted revenge on the snitch. After the dust cleared, a new dirty cop had risen from the ashes, with his boss's connections and then some. He's been in bed with the Yakuza ever since. Turns out this guy's our top detective, too. And you're saying that's Kuroiwa? Hey, I'm just telling you what I heard. You're the one who asked about warning signs. Damn, that's actually crazy. Okay. This is this is crazy. This is just crazy, honestly. Can't believe this. Oh, it's all gone down so great. And I think it was part 22, actually. That was the last part, right? This is part 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's split up, Oshinokun. Sticking with me is just gonna put you in more danger. Come on, I'll be fine. I'm not a little kid. I know that. Either way, I'm done for today. Oh, okay then. I'll see you around, Yagami-san. Oh, 
Alrighty then. No problemo. Return to the Yagami Detective Agency. Get out of my way, bitch. We're going home. How have we not find a new place to live yet? We get we get attacked every time we come home now. It's it's just crazy, honestly. Oh, here we go again. Someone's gonna Yagami attack us. Yagami-san. Oh, no, it's Hattori. Hattori? Even worse. Someone's got eyes on your place. Smells like it does when a journalist stakes out a shoot. How can you tell? Eh, I have a nose for these things. So, what do you want? Not me. Chairman Kajihira. He needs to know what's up with your investigation. Honmarwen's burnt to a crisp. Shioya-san's dead. The chairman is very interested to know what happened. No surprise there. <laughs> nice work. A police detective cum serial murderer. If you're telling the truth, there's a trail of death following AD9 every step of the way. It all leads back to the human experiments. Patient Shono killed Wakusan, Emi Terasawa, Hashki from the ADDC, Shintani, every single one of them. Maybe so, but without evidence, this is nothing more than a well-crafted hypothesis. Believe me, I know that already. All right, I've heard what you have to say, but Chairman Kajihira still wants to meet with you. I just told you everything I know. Then you can tell it to him, too. I'm little more than a messenger, after all. And if I refuse? Listen, Yagami-san. Chairman Kajihira isn't your enemy. He may even have details you wouldn't otherwise be privy to. I suggest you milk that for what it's worth. Oh, and put a good word in for me, huh? If you don't mind. <laughs> Are you free to meet now? You'll need to bring Kaito-san, too, of course. It seems his bullet wound is almost fully healed. You really do know everything. What can I say? Comes with the job. Anyway, grab Kaito-san and head to Kikunoya. Kikunoya? I hear Patriarch Matsugane loved the place. Coincidentally, so does the chairman. Goodbye, Yagami-san. All right. Let's go get Kaito and see upstairs. Is Kaito here? Yo, I'm going to make some coffee. You want a cup? Hey, hey, aren't you supposed to be recovering? Hey, it's fine. Come on, drink with me. Well, if you say so. And by the way, Hatori just dropped by. The journalist? Yeah. Apparently, Chairman Kajihira is asking for us. What I hear, Kajihira is in a pretty tough spot right now. Hmm? Chairman Koba from the Kyorei clan is putting the pressure on. I mean, their Captain Shioya just got his eyes gouged out. Never would have happened if Kajihira hadn't shipped him up to Kamurocho. Yeah, I guess so. First, a couple of their rookies die in Kamurocho. Then a captain turns up dead. Chairman Koba is probably freaking the fuck out. Guess Kajihira is calling us to fix it then? Dunno. We'll find out when we get there. We? I'm sick of sitting around watching Kuroiwa, man. We're not getting anywhere with this shit. It's time we try something new. Hell, I'll do whatever it takes to avenge Matsugane-san. Damn right. Let's do it! Damn straight we will. I still need to go get my suit as well. Guys, someone fucking remind me to go get my suit. Let's Can I go, go get it now, you think? We going to Kikunoya? Alright. <laughs> we just shoulder jacked him. Alright, um... You think I can go get it now while Let's Kaito's with us? Probably not. Oh. That's actually this, this suit store right here, is it? Oh, it's this one. I can't remember. Oh, I think it's this one, actually. We gotta get a taxi anyway, so we can check. Might be able to get the suit while we're there. Because I might want to put on a nice suit to go see Kajihara, you know how it is? 
Let's go see. Really? Okay, guys, come on. Must we? You know I'm with Kaito then, right? Are you sure you guys want to attack me? This was just bad for him, honestly. Where even is Kaito? <laughs> just get wrecked. I didn't even need him. Before Kaito could even cat up, cat up, catch up, they were all dead. Alright, is this where the suits are? No, this ain't it. Wait, is it LaMarche? Yeah, this is it. Nice. Yo, where the hell's my suit, buddy? What the? There's no suit. Dude, where's my suit? I want my free suit. You said I was gonna get a suit on the house. How do I get it? Slaying son of a bitch. I was told I could get the suit. Damn it. I'm going to Kamarocho. Whatever this place is called. Kikunoya. 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 Kikunoya? Welcome. I've been waiting for you. Long time no see. It's truly horrible what happened to Matsugani-san. Yes. To his memory. Chairman Kajihira. I assume you've already heard about 89? Yes. Hattori-san told me everything. The incident three years ago was a human experiment gone awry, huh? I'm impressed you figured that out. <laughs> Quite impressed. I heard about Shinpei Okubo, too. The murder you let loose upon the world didn't actually kill anyone. Facts! Emmy died at the hands of Shono, the 89 researcher. I'm not so sure about that. Do you have any proof? No? If I did, I'd be making you eat those words. Come now. No fighting. My old heart can't handle the stress. Hold on a sec. If you already know what's going on, why'd you go and call us out here? What do you really want? <laughs> You're sharper than you look. To be honest, I have a bit of a problem on my hands. Oh, yeah? The Cure Chairman Koba has been getting on my case. He wants me to put a button on all this murder business. Not that I can blame him. His successor just had his eyes gouged out after all. What's your point? I want you to bring an end to these killings. That detective, Karoiwa, is behind it all. Right? What do you take us for, assassins? I have confidence that the two of you can do what I ask. What do you say? I'll give you a handsome reward. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll be going now. All right, all right. It was a joke. Though the Cure clan has been getting on my case. So you were half joking? <sighs> The real reason I called the two of you here was to say thanks in Harshki's place. Hmm? It must be frustrating for him to look down on this world just to see people say he died in a drunken brawl. But you saw through that false narrative. Once we have proof and crush AD9 for good, he'll finally be avenged. And you'll finally make good on your hundred billion yen investment. Not that I care either way. <laughs> so, Yagami-san, what comes next? Well, Ayabe's trial is coming up, right? We'll use that stage to bring the real crimes into the spotlight. That'll also mean lifting the veil on 89. Hmm. Okubo will be in the clear, too. Interesting. I think you're still missing some evidence, though. 
You're not wrong. We don't know where Hamura is either. Well then, what now? There's one man we have to chase down. I'm Mold. gonna keep going after Kuroiwa. Stay on his tail till I get a solid lead. You may be waiting a long time then. He's not the type of man to slip up. I know. It'll take some time for sure. But there's no other way. I'm not sure you have the time you think you do. What do you mean? It won't be long until Shinpei Okubo is executed. What? So say my connections, at least. There's a top secret list stating which death row inmates are potential execution candidates for the near future. Apparently, Okubo is on that list. Once the Minister of Justice rubber stamps the execution, it's over. What? But why? Someone must have pressured the Ministry to put Okubo on the list. Damn it. If I don't do something soon, I'm gonna lose my chance forever. If it were me, I'd try going after an easier target than Kuroiwa. And sure who enough. would that be? Look, this is an article of mine that got scrapped. Kido. Okay. Kido-san? Really? His womanizing ways are actually pretty well known. Guess he's really cut loose since they announced 89. Underneath the lab coat, he's nothing but a shameless pervert. If anything, he's the one you should be going after. No way am I getting into the ADDC, though. Not now. Eh, then you'll just have to lure him out. That's the only way to get a cautious quarry to leave its nest. And how are we gonna do that? Offer him a delicious meal. For Keto, that would be... a woman. A beautiful one, ideally. A woman? a woman? Sorry, son. It's time. You gotta go again, lady. <laughs> oh, yes, please. It's gotta be sorry again. Well, that was the last place I expected to get any good advice. Yeah, he had a point, though. Keto might be our best bet for evidence. Evidence that could reveal the truth about 89. We're gonna have to drag him out of the ADDC first. Hattori suggested seducing him to Kamrocho. A honey trap, huh? And guess it's time for Salri san to do her thing again. <sighs> yeah, I'll ask her tomorrow. Well, I'm all out of gas for tonight. See you tomorrow, man. All right. Nice. Rest up at the Yagami Detective Agency. What are the odds that someone's gonna attack us when we get there, huh? Huh? What are the odds? What are the odds? By the way, where the hell has Sana-chan been? Like, I, I, she texted me and said I should come see her again. But like, where do I go to see her? Like, where? Oh, there she is. Let's go see her now. Sana Mihama. Before we rest up, let's go see our girl. Sana Mayhama? I need to get go see my girlfriend, okay? Let's go see our girl. Sana Mihama. It's such a good name, honestly. I don't think I've ever heard a better name in all my life. She's playing. Oh, she's got a little bit of a bigger audience now. That's what I'm talking about. Instead of just the three guys, there's a couple more. Yagami-san. Of course. Yeah. Happy to hear it. That makes me feel really special. Oh shit! You're starting to like us more. A little more. Why does he get all the special treatment? <laughs> this guy's jealous. Everyone's jealous. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? She just disappeared. 
She just freaking disappeared, man. My girl. I think Thanos snapped. Oh, we received a new message. Is this from our girl again? Ah, ha, ha. There's some videos of me online. You should get back into it. It's no big deal. Hopefully this one isn't a... Isn't a goddamn rapist. We can hope. We live in hope. Wait, you can go into first person? I legit didn't even know this. I honestly didn't know you could go into first person like that. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. I'm a first person, uh... First person player now. Let's go! It feels so weird walking in first person or running in first person. That shit feels wrong. Alright, if someone is meeting me outside my goddamn house again, I swear to god. Okay, thank you. Alright, let's rest up. Is there anyone here? No. We're alone. Let's rest up, baby! We're gonna have to go ask Saori-san again if she wants to <laughs> dress up. I wonder if she dressed up the same way as last time. Probably. It would make sense. It would make a lot of sense, you know? Recruit Sauri again. Alright. We can do that. We can do that. Um, how are the jobs looking? Where'd my jacket go? We have that one. My subordinate is missing. We got more food in here? Chicken Karaje. The hell is this? I tried out that curry myself, and honestly, that was the worst curry I've had in my entire life. Sorry for making you suffer through that. This time, it will be ten times better. Alright, let's try it out. Is this gonna be bad as again? Like, all of them are just gonna be terrible, and we have to tell them they're terrible? This tastes like... Actually, it tastes kind of good. The wasabi gives it a nice kick. I'm begging you. <laughs> Alright, we're nearly friends with her, though. Actually, looking forward to the next dish, though. Hell yeah. Alright, we still need to go and goddamn get rid of our, like, wounds. Anyway, guys, that's where we're gonna end this part. This was a little bit of a shorter one. Uh, but still, good. Over 45 minutes or whatever. And um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. We'll be back with more of Judgment in the very near future. We've nearly played 22 hours now. And uh, we're on the penultimate chapter. Chapter 13 will be the last one. But I believe chapter 13 is really, really long. So uh, we'll see how we go. And uh, I'll see you guys for more judgment in the very near future. Peace out.